Hi, Kevin from Snowy's Outdoors here, and this is the CFF 17 litre dual zone fridge freezer and cover from Dometic. Hit it. So this fridge comes with a cover. It's got two zones, fridge or freezer, and ideal for extended trips away and large families. Now, when you buy one of these fridges, it does come with the cover. Now, the cover is an Oxford nylon on the outside. It has a rubber coated nylon edging. And inside you've got an aluminium coated polyester insulation. It's about one and a half centimeters thick and weighs in 1.7 kilos. And the padding is all the way around. It's on the top, the sides and both ends as well. Now just looking at the features of this, on this end you see there's a little slot for your handle to go in. That can be closed up by using your Velcro. Nothing much else down the bottom there. We move around to the front of the fridge. You've got some really handy pockets. That's only on the front. On the other side there is no pockets. It's just a plain uh, fridge cover. Down here you've got ventilation. That's for the compressor vent. And of course up here you have a clear panel so you can easily see your controls and keep it under control. Another slot here for the handle to go through the cover. Two more vents down here for the compressor and of course there's an opening there for you attaching your power cords. So now I'll show you how to take the cover off. Now you've got some Velcro flaps down on the side at the front and at the back. The same this side here. You've got a Velcro flap at the top as well. Now just remember also that the handles have to be undone. You've got a little Velcro flap there and another one on the other end. You've also got a zipper at the front. No zippers at the back, just at the front. So you've got one down there and we've got another one this end as well. You can see the cover just falls down very easily. We undo the Velcro on this end as well. The whole top of the cover can come off. Now we also do this side as well. And you can see the fridge cover goes all the way off down at the back, so it's very easy to remove. Then you can easily take the fridge off the cover. Now the fridge itself is 26 kilos in weight. It has handle to handle, about 91 centimetres long, 43 centimetres deep, and 50 centimetres high. Now the entire case is a polypropylene casing all the way over the lids and the sides. As you can see down the front here, it's the same sort of material, and it's the same on the ends as well. You've got the polypropylene handles with stainless steel screws. Now just looking at the feature of the fridge, there's nothing on the end as you can see. On the side here, nothing significant except for the vents, and of course that's the same on the other side as well. Now moving around here, you've got your control panel up here, and I'll show you how that works a little bit later. As we move down the fridge, you can see you've got two power outlets here. So there's your 240 volt socket and your 12 volt socket. The fridge comes with two cords. So this is your mains power cord that obviously goes into there. And you've got a 12 volt cord as well, which goes into that socket there. Now this is a cigarette lighter socket. And as you can see, it's got a little 12 volt uh, fuse inside there. If you need to change that, you unscrew that, take it out, replace the fuse, put it back on again. So we'll plug it in and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so to turn the fridge on, we've got an on-off switch here. We'll just put your finger on that and hold it down. And you can see it's lit up and underway. Now open the lid up, both the lids. Two compartments. You can see there's an LED light for each compartment and they won't come on unless the power is attached to the fridge. Now these compartments are 29 centimeters long, 34 centimeters wide and 39 centimeters deep. This one is the same, except it's only 20 centimetres deep just here. Now all the way around the fridge and in between, you've got four and a half centimetres of CFC-free polyurethane insulation. Down the bottom, there is no drain plug. So if you need to clean it out, you can easily take the, the baskets out so you can get in and clean out any spilt liquid or anything that's spilt inside. Now these fridges will hold up to 100 cans of drink. You can also take very tall bottles, because it's nice and deep, in both compartments. Now look at the lid, you've got a good rubber seal around the top, you've got a strong catch there, and you've got stainless steel hinges holding the fridge into place. Now these lids can be taken off quite easily, a bit of a bump, and you can see you've got stainless steel hinge there and there. Now these hinges can actually be moved over to the other side. You can see you can pull that little top out and that little piece out and you can take the hinges from the other side and mount them back on. And of course then to put the lid back on again, you sit it back over the pins and you give it a bit of a bump. Now as you can see, there are two readouts for this fridge showing the temperatures for each compartment. This has been the larger compartment, this has been the smaller compartment. Now you can actually turn these off if you wanted to. To do that, you push the set button and you can see the temperature is flashing there. You then touch the power button and you can see it turns off. Now it'll just take a few seconds, it'll go off. And of course the light will go out in that compartment as well. Want to turn it back on again, push the set button have it flashing, push the power button and it goes back on again. We wait for it to stop flashing so that you've got a temperature reading. 
and there it is. Now these temperatures are what's currently in each compartment. If you want to change the, temp the temperature, you push the set button, you go over to the plus and minus. You can see I can actually increase the temperature or decrease it depending on what you want. It's got a temperature range between 10 degrees and minus 18. You want to change it to that compartment over there, push the set button again, so that's flashing, same thing. You can increase or decrease the temperature in there depending what you want it to do. Once it stops flashing, it is set at that temperature and it'll go down that temperature, but it's still reading what is currently in there. Now you can, of course, change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. If you press it a couple of times, you can see you've got the Celsius symbol. You can then go to Fahrenheit and back to Celsius if you want to. Press it again, you go to battery protection. That's low, that's the medium battery protection, and that's high battery protection. Now, I just want to explain to you about battery protection. There are three settings, low, medium, and high. Low protection means you draw more power out of your battery. High protection means you draw less power out of your battery. Medium is called somewhere in between. Now, depending on the quality of your battery and how much power you want to use, you can alter the setting to suit your needs. If you press the set button again, you've got dimmable lights. So I can actually make it go dim right down to fairly low, or I can bring it back up again. That means when it's at night time and you want to get some sleep, it's not going to have the bright light shining in your eyes. Now, this fridge has a Dometic compressor. It draws about 2.5 amps per hour. It does create a little bit of warm air. I can feel it coming out of the vents there. So make sure that when you do put the uh, fridge in a car or in your wagon, you've got a bit of space around it. So I'll show you how to put the cover back on now. Now just make sure that first of all, we turn the fridge off and then we unplug the power from it. So it's better to start from the back of the fridge to put the cover back on. Make sure the ends go on as well. Don't forget to get your handle through that slot first, then Velcro that in. Same with this end, make sure the flaps are out. Give it a nice little tug up there, make sure it's nice and even. Put your Velcro on there and on the back there, make sure they're in place. And of course the front, you just pull up and there's a zipper each end. Zip that back into place. Same with this end. Fold your flap over, make sure that's Velcro in place as well. And of course, as I mentioned before, there are pockets ideal place to put your cables so that you don't lose them while the main fridge is being transported. So that's all I've got for you on the CFF 70 litre dual zone fridge freezer from Dometic. If you want to get any more information on this product or anything else, go to our website snowies.com.au where we have the lowest prices every day. If you want to subscribe to Snowies, click over here. If you want to watch any more videos, click over here. If you want to ask a question, leave a comment down below.